Hi guys and welcome to Paul's DIY. In this video we're going to be doing something a little different. There are lots of uh, channels on the on YouTube that do um, Matchbox and Corgi Juniors um, toy car restorations and I've been watching a few of them on YouTube and they do a fantastic job of uh, restoring these cars and I actually have quite a few of these up in the attic. So I went up to the attic uh, yesterday and I found this one and I thought, you know what? Let's give it a try. Let's see if I can do as good a job as the professionals who restore them on the countless channels. There's uh, quite a few different ones that I've seen. They all do a fantastic job, but I've not got all the equipment they have. I've got a bit of paint stripper, uh, a bit of varnish, and they usually drill out the rivets and put button screws in, I think, once they're done. I'm probably just gonna use some uh, epoxy glue to glue it all back together. So yeah. Let's see uh, how I do with this. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, uh, as mentioned, drill out the rivets, take it apart, um, remove the plastic windshield, and put the bottom and the top into some uh, paint stripper to get rid of the paint. And then we'll give it a sand and a rub down with some uh, wire wool and see how we get on. Okay, that's the car now taken apart into all of its um, separate pieces and we're just going to be concentrating on these two at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it into a little plastic tub and put some of this Nitro Mars paint and varnish remover and see if that will get rid of all the paint on this and then we can uh, give it a sand down and give it a respray. So we'll give it a uh, spray with some primer and then spray it with a fresh coat of paint. So I've only just put this uh, in the paint stripper and you can already see that the paint is coming off in, in little bits and back, little chunks. So I'm going to carry on going at it with the brush scraping it around on the interior and exterior of this and then see how we get on. So whilst we wait for this to do its thing with the uh, paint, we're going to turn our attention to the windscreen and the interior. So, so the first thing I'm going to do is take this to the sink and give it a nice hot, uh, nice scrub in some hot boiling water and see how that comes up and then we'll see if we can polish up the windscreen. Okay, I've been going at this with a wire brush and some wire wool and to be fair, I think it's in a pretty good condition. The wheels are as well, so all I'm going to be doing is giving the wheels a touch up with some black and some uh, chrome uh, for the insides of the wheels. Other than that, I'm happy with that. Now I'm going to see how the rest of it is going in the paint stripper.
Okay guys, I've just taken that outside and get it hose down with the hose pipe outside and now I'm going to go in with some wire wool and see if I can get rid of the rest of the orange paint. So far so good. Uh, I've got all the paint off the body of the car and there's still some on the underside but you're not going to see that and I, unfortunately I don't have any metal polish but I do have some uh, silver for silver so I'll give it a going over with that and it's actually brought up quite well. So the next step is to prime this and then give it its uh, first coat and I'm probably going to go with red I think I've got some um, metal some red metal spray paint so we're going to give that a coat with that. I've gone ahead and cleaned the base up best I can get it. As I mentioned, I'm going to paint the, the wheels black again and some, put some chrome paint on the inside of the wheels. I've given the interior a nice wash with some hot boiling water and I might give that a going over some chrome paint as well. And I've also cleaned the windscreen up. That's nice and almost clear now. So, as mentioned, let's give this a spray with some primer and it's first coat. Okay, that's the body now sprayed with the primer. The primer is all dry and uh, originally was going to spray this red. Uh, I thought I had some red spray paint, but I haven't. But I do have some Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch Black. Uh, this is a matte finish. So let's give it a spray with this and see how it looks. Okay, the paint on the body is now finished. I wasn't 100% happy with how the spray paint uh, came out on the car, on the body itself. So I went back in and gave it a coat with some black metal paint. Uh, this is the same paint that I used on my last DOI project, which was the uh, vin uh, vintage headlight uh, customization into the floor lamp. And it has come up really well. There are a few uh, paint drips, but for my first restoration of uh, Corgi Junior's uh, car, I think it's come out really well. And I'm going to take what I've learned from doing this, and this will be my next one, which is a Chevrolet Corvette. And I'm not sure how. I'm how confident I am about taking this one apart because it seems like it does have suspension. It's missing part of the front bumper as well, so I get that to focus. There you go. Uh, so I'm probably going to make this out of milliput. And for this one, I'm actually thinking I might just tape everything up and then paint it without taking it apart. The windscreen isn't too badly scratched, but I might. Uh, take the dive and actually take it apart but it does seem like there's yeah, suspension and I can assume that that would be a pain to get back together so that's going to be my next challenge so back to this one let's put it back together and see how it comes out <laughs> 